Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be building Chiori. Yesterday we were able to successfully win the 50-50 and bring home a Chiori and today we're going to go all out and building her. I've been preparing the mats for quite some time now. We got EXP books, we got her boss material, we got everything and today we're going to build the best possible Chiori that we can so without further ado let's get in to today's video oh and quickly also we're trying to hit 100k subscribe please and i'll give you all free chioris anyways let's go build her okay chiori time i'm actually kind of excited for this but before we actually build her i do just want to discuss a bit of her kit because if we don't understand the fundamentals of chiori's kit then how can we know how to build her so we're just going to do a little kit review if you would like to skip past the kit review i will leave a timestamp right here that will take you past this point and into the main build section of the video but for all those still here with us let's talk about chiori so chiori is a very very diverse character she has multiple different things that she can do with her e ability that'll allow her to play the role of support and the role of a dps her normal attacks are going to be pretty ordinary just do ordinary damage however if you click her e ability you can actually infuse her normal attacks with geo damage which i believe goes for an upward of four to five seconds and allow chiori to be a main on-field dps for just a little bit although you do want to run her with another main dps like a ningguang for example as they use here to make the most of chiori's abilities that is because with her other e ability you are able to click e and then e swap into the next character in the rotation and immediately start dealing damage with them this allows for some really cool abilities where you're able to like switch in chiori do an e ability and then immediately switch into the next character and do huge huge damage keep in mind this will always switch to the next character in the rotation so for example because we have chiori in slot one it's going to transition into the character in slot two which is ningguang we also don't always have to do plunging attacks we can also do it by just clicking it and then immediately clicking e and there we go we're into ningguang and we win the fight this ability scales off of two things act it scales off chiori's attack and her defense percentage so you can actually make use of both in her kit which makes her really really diverse and of course every time we put down this little e ability there's actually something secondary that happens so you'll probably already have noticed as we were doing the battle when we put down e a little doll will spawn on the battlefield this is known as the tomato doll which also scales off chiori's attack and defense and basically it's just a little spawn that will do continuous geo damage to the enemy it hits about i don't know every two to three seconds basically and it can actually do quite a bit of damage and in fact we can actually have two dolls on the field at once if we place down a tomato doll and then we place down another geo construct we're actually going to get a second tomato doll on the field so you can have upwards of two of these at the time and this will make you want to run chiori with a lot of different geo supports that have geo constructs like a zhongli like an albedo or like a ningguang and that about covers everything you can possibly do with chiori skill now let's talk about her burst okay there's her burst we're done talking about it that that's all there is it, it's it's literally just a geo hit there's really nothing that interesting about it it just does geo damage <laughs> whoa big burst nice huge damage yeah no that's her burst it's just a cool little hit it's not the most complicated thing of all time however her skill is really diverse so it makes sense that her burst would be a little more simplified and yeah that's pretty much everything about chiori's kit a somewhat simple kit but one that i enjoy very much and i like the animations a lot and i'm hoping today we can build a pretty good chiori using this kit which we've seen here and yes my friends that was chiori what do you think about her let me know I myself enjoy her kit quite a bit, but we have to make full use of this kit. And in order to do that, we need to level her to the maximum, which we're going to do right now. We're going to take her all the way to level 80 if I have the mats, which I am at least very close to doing so. We take her to level 60. We got level 70. There we go. We're going to unlock her last passive. She's going to scale with crit rate, actually, which I really like. Um, But we're not going to be able to take her to her final ascension. What are we missing? We're missing some dendrobium flowers. And we're missing a single 
Artificial spare clockwork component Coppelia. Say less. Let's go get that quickly. And let's also switch out of the solo Chiori comp because that will not work for this video. Oh yeah, and while we're heading over to the boss fight, I should let you guys know that we actually have a little promo code to give out to you guys. I will throw it up on the screen now. You can enter that promo code into Genshin to get 10 adventures experience, 10,000 Mora, 5 enhancement ores, and some nice little cooked dishes. If you would like to simply copy and paste it, the code will be in the description and in the pinned comment. But anyways, let's go fight this boss. I brought in the Navia team today because I kind of just want to get this over and done with. And this team will finish it in about five seconds, as we will see here. One, two, I'm the slowest counter of all time. Three, uh, come on, uh, we'll get to four there. Four and five. That was definitely five seconds, right? Anyways... Replenish resin. We're going to need a little bit more here. Why did I use my Primo gems? And let's see what we get. Come on. Give me one more. We got three. Okay, not shabby. And the God Goblet. Not the God Goblet. Okay. Anyways, with that, we now have all the boss materials. And now all we have to do is go get a couple of the little Dendro Oblium flower things. And one, two, and three, because why not? And that should be everything we need to ascend Chiori. And let's get out of here, because there is a lot of enemies here. Jesus. Okay, Chiori, let's ascend you. Finally, we have ascension level 80. Let's go. We got more crit rate on her. That's awesome. And let's finish off and cap her to the max uh, mum. Shoot. I could have swore I had enough EXP books. How has this happened? Okay, wait, wait, I have an idea. We're going to the teapot. I need you to give me something. Hero's Wits books. I can buy 12. Oh, I don't know if that's enough. Tubby, your one shining moment. Please tell me you gave me enough. Please. No, we're one level short and like two EXP books short. Okay, fine. I guess we can do like a ley line or something, right? Surely I can do a ley line. Yeah, I got 20 resin here. Let's do this with a uh, solo Navia because who needs other characters when you have Navia? Let's just say it how it is. This character is broke as hell. Goodbye. Jesus Christ, she's so good. <laughs> uh, why would you ever need other characters, man? I didn't even take any damage. Let's go. Boom, five EXP books. And that is going to be the final levels we need for Chiori. Huge. But you'll notice I still have that annoying red exclamation point above her because I haven't claimed my three acquaint fates, which we're going to use to, of course, get a guaranteed five star. Because watch this. Every time you level your Chiori, you're actually guaranteed to get a five star on the standard banner every single time. Never happens in the first one. That doesn't happen. But then on that second one, you then go on to get okay but don't worry on the third one it happens every time right surely please oh oh come on really candace did i need that no i didn't well that's that we did get level 80 chiori though so now what we need to do is build her on a weapon some artifacts and some pretty good talents now i'm gonna start with the talents because this is the most boring bit i'm just gonna level up everything basically for Chiori's talents, you do have the option of not leveling the normal attack. However, I'm going to choose to level up Chiori's normal attack because I do want to try and play a somewhat on-field Chiori. So I am going to level up her normal attack to as far as I can take it. However, if you do just plan to run like a support Chiori with her little dolls, you don't need to level up the normal attack. All right, we got her to 666. I think we want to take her to at least 777. And then we might have enough to take one or two talents to level eight. But it's going to be kind of close. We can take this one to seven. And then we're out of lightless silk string, I guess. I'm all out of that. Unfortunate. So I guess we're going to be stuck at 777, which honestly, I'm pretty fine with. I think that's a good level for her talents. And now all we have to do is get her a good weapon, get her some artifacts, and of course, go and get her C1 real quick, which we will do right here, right now. Damn it. <laughs> I thought that was it. Oh, stop playing with me, game. Thanks for the Goro, though, I guess. Well, anyways, let's start with her weapon. Okay, so 
I don't have her signature weapon. That's a problem. Let's go get it real quick. Let's go get her signature real quick. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Wrap it up. Shoot. One more 10 pull? Surely? Easy, easy, easy. No! Skip. No good weapons. Lame. I should really stop wasting wishes on the weapon banner. That's not a good idea. But anyways, what weapon do I want to use for Chiori? So I have a couple of options here. I have a lot of five-star weapons. Obviously, a good four-star weapon for her is going to be that Cinnabar Spindle. This will probably be her best in slot four-star option. Alongside the Harbinger of Dawn, which gives a ton of crit damage and crit rate. And it's also very good for her. However, I'm going to opt for a five-star option because I do have a couple good options for her. For example, Splendor of Tranquil Waters is decent. Not the best ever, but it definitely works. We have Mist Splitter, which could be a good option. And also Primordial Jade Cutter. Now, if I had to pick between these three, that's a tough choice. I think I would probably have to go Mist Splitter because at least she can make use of the passive and she does scale with crit rate. So we already have quite a bit of crit rate on her. So I think she's going to appreciate the crit damage a lot more. So we're going to put her on Mist Splitter. And then for artifacts, again, we're going to have quite a few options. So the main two sets that are going to be good for her are going to be the Golden Troop set and the Husk of Opulent Dream set. So those are going to be the two best four pieces for her and the ones we're looking for the most. For our substats, we're going to want either Attack Percent or Defense Sands. And we actually have a really crazy Defense Sands in this set. The only bad stat is Elemental Mastery, which we really do not need on Chiori. Surely it rolls well, right? I mean, this can't really go bad unless it rolls the bottom stat two times. Man, what is my luck, bro? Are you serious? At least we got another crit damage. That's something. What were the odds of that? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Jesus Christ, my pieces are so bad in this set. You know what? I may just have to do a two-piece, two-piece because my pieces are genuinely that bad in this set. So we're going to have to go with some sort of two-piece, two-piece, which also works for Chiori. You can do two pieces as well. For example, like a two-piece husk, which I'm sure we can find something good in this set. Like, look at this piece. Defense, crit damage, attack. That is three good stats, except for flat defense. Just don't give me flat defense and we'll be happy. Anything but flat defense, please. Thank you. That is a ton of defense percent. Oh my goodness. Okay. That is a lot of defense percent. Let's see it one more time. Attack percent. That's not bad, actually. That is a damn good piece for you. There you go, Chiori. Do we have a good flower? Ooh, yes, we do. I forgot I had this piece. 16 crit rate, though. Say less. That's going straight on Chiori. There we go. And now all we're going to need is the three other pieces. So let's start with our Geo Damage Cup. We have one on Noel with 26 crit damage. That seems pretty good to me. We can probably slap that right onto Chiori. And then we can probably match that with a Vermilion Hat. For example, this one, crit damage, crit rate, energy recharge. I say that's probably pretty good. Let's just slap that on her too. And then all we need is a defense percent sands, which should be pretty easy considering we only need to get one offset. And we won't get one that rolled as terribly as the last one. That will not happen again. This one literally has the exact same substats. Surely it will not happen again. I will not be getting four elemental mastery in a row. There we go. Crit rate. Good start. Good start. Just dodge elemental mastery. Good. Attack percent. That's fine. Dodge elemental mastery. Not that. Good. Crit damage. Mineral. It's fine. Last roll. Attack percent. That's great. That's a great, great piece. We slap that onto her. And now she has a finish build. It's going to be two two pieces, which isn't the greatest thing ever, but it should still give us a decent ratio sitting at 51 to 213. Definitely could be better, but it's not the worst thing in the world. 124 recharge and 1800 attack and 1800 defense. I'd say that's a pretty damn good Chiori. And with that, we have officially finished her build. She is completed. And now it's time to take her for a little spin. Let's go to the Spiral Abyss. And let's try out Chiori one last time here. I think for my team, I'm definitely going to want to pair her with Navia. I saw some really cool pairings with her and Navia. So I'm going to put Chiori beside Navia. And then for our other two... Well, we're definitely going to want a character with a Geo Construct, so I'm going to include Zhongli. And then I think I want a good buffer like Bennett. 
and I think this team will work really, really well together. Let's see. It honestly may just kill all the enemies too fast, but we're going to see how it goes. We're going to put up Zhongli Pillar, and then we're going to get two of the Chiori dolls. Perfect. Chiori Burst. Whoo, big damage there. And we're going to get up all the Navia Burst. And then let's try switching into Navia. So we're going to go above the enemy, and then E, and wait. Plunging attack didn't work. Why didn't it work? Kill him, Navia. Why didn't it work there? I'm so confused. And then I want to plunge on the enemy. Follow up by this. Followed up by this. And boom. And that's without Geo Infusion too. That was pretty good. Nice. Okay, let's try this against somebody a little bit tougher. Because we didn't get to see much of Chiori's on field damage. Which I feel like we kind of missed out on in the Spiral Abyss. Let's go against Masanori here. We're going to try to get a Bennett Burst, and then we're going to go straight into Chiori and see how much we can do. Let's go. We're going to put down Bennett Burst, go into Chiori. Let's see. Boom, 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 boom. 5k? Okay, not the most crazy amount of damage in the world. She did 12k there. That was pretty decent. How much are we doing with the Burst? 24k. That's pretty good. I like 24k a lot better. I think it's because our crit rate isn't that high, though. If we had more crit rate, I think we'd be able to do a little more consistent damage for sure. Now, I'm kind of curious. If I use Navia E and then switch into you, do this, and then E into you, do I still have... Oh, I still have Geo Infusion, I think. Oh, that's so cool. And then I do this, and then I do this. Yeah, I still have Geo Infusion. Oh, that's so cool. So I can use Navia's Geo Infusion, then switch into Chiori, and then go back. Oh, that's awesome. Chiori is too OP. 1k, 2k, okay. She might not be all that OP with her own personal damage, but she's definitely a good support character. You know what? I appreciate it. Look at that. We did 20k on that hit. Th there we go. Now we're doing some damage. I think your charge attacks definitely do a little bit more. I wonder if it's worth using your charge attacks or not. I'm going to have to do a little bit more testing, but you know, I think I'll stick with Navia for the Geo main DPS, I think. But that being said, Chiori's still a ton of fun, and I had a lot of fun building her. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and if you did, please consider leaving a like down below or subscribing. Anyways, thank you guys so much, and I'm going to see you all in the next one. Peace.